Hi guys, welcome to another Divi theme video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignandTechTips.com. We've got a fun one for you today. Very simple 3D scroll effect. No coding involved in this today. If I roll down the page, keep your eye on the section that's coming in below. We've got an image there. As I scroll down, we've got this little guy coming in, holding one of our modules there. When we get to the bottom of this section, he's going to be right in the middle. If we continue rolling down, he's going to disappear out. Really easy to do. Like I say, no coding involved in this today at all. And that's a really eye-catching thing to have on your site. It'll work just as well on tablet and mobile too. If I hit my F12 key, let's go back up. I've got an, an iPad Air here. We go up to the top. Start scrolling down. There's our image. There's our little fella coming in. He's staying there. They can do whatever you want them to do with your module. Rolling back down. And it's exactly the same on a phone. So let's get started. I'm going to enable my visual builder. Let's go down and where we want to work. And I'll delete this whole section. We'll start from scratch. Blue tab for a section. Just going to hit the little trash can and it's gone. So we've got two sections here now, and they're pretty similar. Let's add a new section right in the middle. Little blue button for a new section. I'm going to use a regular section. And of course, these scroll effects are available in any kind of section. In mine, I'm going to keep this very simple. I'm just going to put a single column, single row. I think I used a blurb module for my last time. Let's just use a call to action for this today for a bit of fun. We won't have a button in there until we put a link in. We'll give it a quick title. Put whatever you want your button to say there. And obviously, whatever content you wanted to say there. I'm going to have the button appear by clicking on the link down below. As soon as you put something in there, I'm going to put a hashtag for a placeholder. That button's going to appear for us. Perfect. Just going to change that background color a little bit. Background's right down below here. I'm going to make mine a dark color. Perhaps my 2424 that I use quite often. I'm going to take the opacity down so we can see through it a little bit because I'm actually going to put an image behind it in the row itself. So let's save our changes here. Let's put a little image into the section. Blue tab for the section, remember. Background. Add a background image. And here's the one we used before. Of course, you can use any one you want. Now with my original, I combined a little gradient in the background to darken down the sides a bit more. I'm not going to bother with that. I'm fairly happy with the way everything's displaying there. Well, let's add our little robot chap in and we'll add the actual scroll effect itself. I've got a transparent ping of the robot. I'm going to add it to the background of the row. Green tab for the row. Always find background under content tab. I'm going to go over to my background image. I'm going to hit the plus. And there's the little fellow we used last time. We'll pop him back in there, work quite well. Now initially you can see him in the background there, but all we've got is a piece of his torso. So if we roll down a bit, I actually want it to fit the size of the row because I'm going to adjust the row size to fit the robot, if that makes any sense. So I'm going to change it from cover to fit. Now we've got a little small version of that fella. Now, while we're in the row, if we make the row taller by adding padding top and bottom, we can make it almost appear like the robot's carrying that module. So to do that, we can go into design, down to spacing. It's always where we will find padding and margin. Let's try, I'll give it 30 viewable height on the top, 30 VH. As you can see, that's pulled it up. We've got a bit of him sticking out the top here. But I want his feet sticking out the bottom a bit more. So this is more in the center. I could either do this, just hit the little chain, and it'll do both sides, and that's not too bad. That's actually okay. So I'm gonna uncheck this, and before I think I had 30 on the top, and a little bit more on the bottom. Something like that. And then I wanted him to come a little bit higher up our section here, when he's standing in the middle. So to do that, I'm going to save my row settings. I'm going to do that in the section. Just take a bit of padding away from the section. See this little blue line at the top? That's the actual padding. 
you can either click on it and push it up with your mouse if you want to or go in there design as i said before always under spacing put a zero in there that'll take away any padding at the top that'll bring them up just a little bit fantastic that's all working fine but when we scroll into site i don't want to see him initially i want him to start coming in about here and growing and growing and growing till he's full height about here and when we roll down the page i want him to disappear so to do that i'm going to work on the row remember it's a green tab for the row I'm going to hit the cog to go in there. I'm going to go over to advanced. In advanced, you'll find scroll effects. Well, we've got vertical motion, obviously moves him up and down, horizontal, left and right, fading in and out. We'll be using that in a minute. Scaling up and down, which making bigger or smaller. We're going to be using that. You can also rotate and blur. And we've done plenty of these before mixing and matching. So let's use the scaling up and down. I'm going to click on the tab hit the little switch to turn it on once we hit the switch and turn it on we've got a little timeline here viewport top which is the top of the screen here viewport bottom obviously the bottom of the screen and the starting scale well zero would be invisible almost so that's kind of where i want it to start so when he's up here he's small when we roll down he's going to get bigger Till he's full size about there. That's great. That's working for me. Obviously adjust it more. If you want him to be smaller for longer, you can pull this up. And he'll stay smaller for a bit longer. And if you don't want him to be quite as big, quite as quickly, you can either change that to a smaller percentage or just take the whole thing and slide it up. And you can have different values by moving these arrows if you want to. So now we've got Coming in really small, rolling in. That's still not too bad. That works for me. Adjust it to your taste, obviously. It looks like he's sliding down that corridor there. But when we roll down, I want him to disappear when we get to about here too. So to do that, let's hit the fading in and out right next door right here. Again, we'll turn the switch off. There's our little timeline. Viewport bottom. He's fading out there. Let's end him on zero. And we'll start him on 100. There he is. He's coming in. Fading out a little bit too quickly. So let's bring this up a little bit. I want to keep him in till we roll down just a little bit more. That's fine. If we roll back up, we'll do the same thing in reverse. And that's a very eye-catching thing to have on your site. It'll get them looking at it for sure. So I think we're good to go. Let's just save our changes here. And we'll check it on the front end. I hit my little purple button. Save draft or publish if we're ready. Let's exit the visual builder. There's our top section. If we roll down, here's our next section. Here's our little fella coming in here, rolling up full size. If we roll down a little bit more, he's going to disappear out. Reverse will do the same thing in reverse, obviously. And that's a nice little effect to have on your site. As I demoed, no coding involved in tool in this today. So there you have it. There's how to design a nice little 3D scrolling effect using the inbuilt Divi scroll effects. I hope you've enjoyed this today and found it useful. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, ring the bell, comment, share, and subscribe to the YouTube channel. Don't forget, if you have any questions, pop them down below the video. I'll do my best to answer them for you or make a little demo video just like this one. So once again, this has been Jamie with System22 and WebDesignandTechTips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.